I'd just like to explain how to do a Ken Ken, which is a similar type of puzzle to a Sudoku, but uh, we might say it's a, a maths puzzle on steroids. So basically there's three ideas which we need to get across. One is that there are things called rows, the second there are columns, and the third is these colored sections, they're called cages. Now in this Ken Ken, it's the one we're going to start with, there are a couple of cages that have only a single cell, and we would call them freebies. So the way it works is this. In this case, it's a four by four Ken Ken, so you only use the numbers that are one to four, and you place them on the Ken Ken in such a way that no number can be repeated in a row, and no number can be repeated in a column. So let's start. So let's start with this freebie. So there's no choice there. You just place a one in there, and that's the choice we have. We'd also use this freebie, so I place a three in there. So now we've done two parts of the puzzle. Now it gets a little bit more complicated. Let's go up to the green cell, and we see that the total is three. There's two ways that we could make three. We could put two and one is three. But now I want you to remember the first rule, which was you can't repeat a digit in a column or a row. So that's okay, but if I'd place them like this, then this is not okay because there's a one there and a one there. So straight away we're learning that one and two and two and one both make three. Let's complete this. So in this case here, we might put the, say the four here and the three here, but now I need to check, same thing. Oh, there's another three in that row. So I'd have to turn them around. And so four and three gives me seven. Now, if you look here, the total is two and three is five and four is nine and one's 10. And essentially now we just complete the rest of the puzzle. Now, just one last thing. Notice that this cage goes around a corner. So you can't repeat a number in a row or a column, but you might have the same number here as here because that's in a different column and that's in a different row. Now, just a couple of other things here. I've used little uh, counters to do that, but we could quite easily uh, just use one of these right on wipe off sort of pockets. There it is in A4 size, and you do exactly the same thing here two and one. I just find it's useful for children that they can write and rub off in case they want to change their mind. And of course, the same pocket can be done in A3 size, but you'll notice here something else about Ken Ken. You can vary the level of difficulty. This is a four by four Ken Ken, but it's got multiplication in it. So uh, we can work from a three by three Ken Ken that just uses one, two, and three, right to a nine by nine Ken Ken that uses all the numbers from one to nine, and also has multiplication and division on it. Now we've just put a little booklet up to get you started up on our website, but um, we recommend that you have a look at uh, the Ken Ken website, uh, the uh, apps that they have for it, and many of the books because the puzzles are, are actually quite addictive.